What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to another video. If you don't know who I am, that means you're new. I'm Mark. What's good with y'all? Go check out my other videos. Check them out. Check them out. But first, stay on this one. This one's pretty important, right? So let me let me calm myself down here a bit. You know, on this channel, we love guns. Guns are dope. You know what I mean? Uh, however, also on this channel, we like to be realistic. So here's the thing, right? There are three major, I mean, you know what? No, no, no. There are more than three, all right? However, this video is in regards to three downsides to owning firearms. Now, the reason why I decided to do this video is it seems like it's something that should be talked about just so that way there is no, you know, because I've gone through my videos and I realized you don't have, I don't have that on here. You know what I mean? That's what went through my head. I'm like, buddy, you don't have it on here. You know, so yeah, I, I, it's something that I should, you know, go over. And, you know, some of these are much more, uh, much more negative than others. Very much so. All right. I'm going to start with the, the least, you know, the, the least negative of the downsides. So downside number one, guns are expensive. Now let's take my Glock 23, for example, right here. Uh, we'll say it was used when I got it. So we'll say like 350, maybe 400 at most for just the gun itself. Uh, came with one 13 round magazine because it was used. So make sure the chamber is clear. This O light right here wasn't super expensive, but it really wasn't cheap either. Uh, it was like 120 and change. So that right there, let's say we'll meet in the middle for the price of the Glock, say 375. That's almost 500, including the light on there. Stick mag is another $40 plus the ammo that's in it. You know what I mean? It, it, it starts to add up. It all starts to add up. And if you're like me and you own more than one, yeah, it'll really add up. It'll really start to add up because you're going to want to go shooting. You're going to want to do all these fun things that, you know, are going to require you to shoot your gun and use it. You know what I mean? So in order for you to even use your gun, it needs to be your gun and you need to own it. That costs money as well. You know what I mean? There's range fees. Owning a gun itself and being proficient with it is not cheap. So that is definitely a downside that most people don't like to talk about. You know, uh, <clears throat> another downside is that costing, or no, excuse me, not another downside, another point to this downside is that costing can be affected by varying things from where you're at to uh, what time of the year it is even, you know, what's going on. You know, politically, there's a bunch of things, you know, with, and since I brought that up, that actually leads me into my next point. All right. So my next point is firearms, in a sense, force you to become political. Now, here's why I say that. If you don't want your guns to be taken away, you don't want to go to jail. You don't want to be a felon or anything like that. Right. You want to follow the laws. So in order for that to be the case. You have to know the laws. You have to know what's happening in regards to the law, which means you have to follow politics because unfortunately it's these fucking politician assholes who, who are, you know, who are being the voice of the people instead of fucking listening to the people. And you're, for, you're forced to be political, unfortunately, guys. Now, some people, they like to say, oh yeah, well, and it's a, it's, they're out there, but I like to say they're like unicorns because once you find them, you can just, you can just fucking prove them wrong. <laughs> like, oh uh, shit. So Democrat gun owners, that is, that is something that you will, you, you will find amongst, you know, having to be political. Uh, you will find that and they make no fucking sense. They make zero sense. So let's just be prepared for that guys. Uh, being political isn't something anybody really wants to do. Now, here's what I'll say. I personally find somewhat a level of joy in arguing not really joy like i enjoy it however i mean if it's a good argument part of me while well, you know i'm arguing so i'm obviously in the heat of the moment another part of me is like damn this you know what i mean like this is like a good back and forth here you know what i mean so <clears throat> i don't mind you know getting into politics because i i enjoy all the arguing i i low-key do all right you guys can call me you know whatever you want to for that 
But I do personally enjoy the arguing a bit. So it's not really a problem for me to get political. However, it can get a bit tiring because you can ask, look, if y'all ever see me in public, you'll probably see me with my fiance, Brie. Uh, ask her. Ask her. <laughs> I promise y'all right now. She is tired of how political I am sometimes just because, you know what I mean? <laughs> I get when I'm when I'm like really seeing something that's like has my attention. Oh, I'm into it. It's over. It is over. The fuck are you talking about? They want to ban all fucking guns that take detachable magazines. The hell are these people on? I start getting angry. I start getting upset. You know what I mean? So <laughs> believe me, guys, you will unfortunately have to get political when it comes to owning firearms because you want to be able to not break the law. You want to you want to be able to, you know, own everything legally and not risk going to jail over something that you didn't even know because you didn't, you know, follow along with politics and the laws in regards to firearms. Because unfortunately, it's something we don't, you know, we don't want to be the case. However, it is the case. Guns are very, very, very political. They shouldn't be. The Second Amendment makes it clear that they they shouldn't be. <laughs> with the words shall not be infringed, there should no there should not be any form of arguing among politicians or the people in regards to it. However, there is. It's unfortunate, but it is true. It's very unfortunate. So you do have to get political in a sense. You know, it is something that unfortunately it is the case. Now that's gonna bring now here's uh you know you can see it's starting to get okay, yeah, the cost that's not the the biggest deal when you know in comparison to the stress of having to, you know, be political with things, you know, and you're like, okay, so what really could get worse? Now, this is the piece that takes all guys. This is a big, big, big deal here. And obviously, once I say it, everybody's going to understand the gravity of this and why this is a major downside to owning firearms. Is you, you more likely than not are going to have to come to the reality that there's a chance you may have to take someone's life. Now, of course, I don't, I've never met a single gun owner who was like, oh yeah, I want to kill people. I've never met somebody who was a gun owner who was like that. I never have in my life. And why is that? Because they don't want to lose their guns. They don't want to go to jail forever. And they know for a fact it is entirely wrong and crazy to do that. So that's the thing is that while you don't want to, it's something that you may be forced to do. Now, since it's something you may be forced to do despite not wanting to, it, it's something that you should have to, you should be able to come to terms with. It's something that you need to be able to mull over in your head and say, wow, this is going to suck if I have to do this. You know what I mean? Because here's the thing. Every night I go to sleep, I think in my head, if someone breaks in through that fucking door, I'm going to do what I have to do. I'm going to do what I have to do. I have more, I have things that require me here alive. So I'm going to do what I have to do to make sure that that threat is not a threat anymore. It will suck. I'm probably going to think about it forever, but I will do what I have to do. There's no way around it. There's no, you know, going around and saying, oh, well, maybe I can do this. Nope. If I have to, if I have to take someone's life to defend myself, my loved ones, my home, I will do it. It's going to suck. It's going to, you know, it's going to wear me down. Of course, that's what happens with same normal people. You know, it's not something we ever want to have to deal with. But coming to the reality that you may have to will, will help mentally prepare you. You know, and that's one of the reasons why we own guns in all reality is to be prepared. So you don't want to, you know, have the tool and not have the mindset of knowing how to use it and what can come with using it. Just like you don't want to have the mindset of knowing it and not having the tool because having the mindset without having the tool at that point is damn near useless. You need to have them both. They are both equal in this sense. It is a very real possibility. It is something that can happen. It has happened to plenty of people. Plenty of people have had to defend their lives with their guns. Some people have lost their lives while defending their lives. It's a sad reality. Now, I want to bring another, you know, kind of, I guess, sub point to this downside is that you may also lose your life trying to defend yourself. That is something we also need to come to a reality of. 
something that we do everything to avoid, but it is a possibility. So please remember that guys, guns don't make you bulletproof. They don't make you, <clears throat> they don't make you in any way, shape or form tougher than the next guy. It's a tool. It's something that should be treated as such. All right. Because the chances are, <clears throat> if you do have to use it, you're one, if you're using it justly, your life or the life of somebody else that you care about is on the line. Or if you, there's a couple of situations where you're allowed to use your firearm. <clears throat> However, the, the main one is you or the life of a loved one is on the line. If something like that happens, obviously there's a risk of you or your loved one dying. And then there's the risk of the fact that if you do stop the threat, you might not be the same after mentally. It is something that we all do need to come to this reality of because it's very real and it unfortunately sucks. I know people who have had to defend themselves and they've openly stated the shit sucked. They, they flat out. One of the things you hear among people who have used their firearms or really any tool or even just their hands, you know, in a self-defense situation is why did you make me do that? Why did you make me have to do that? I, these people don't ever want to do it. The, the same minded people don't ever want to have to, you know, hurt and, or kill somebody or anything like that. No, the same person doesn't want to do that. The same person just wants to live their life. So that's something that I, I feel we need to clear and get that out the way right now. Now I know this wasn't the, the, the most upbeat video on my channel. However, I think we can all agree with the title. You know, it wasn't meant to be the most upbeat video. However, I'm happy that I'm back. I'm happy that I'm able to drop videos on a somewhat consistent basis for y'all. Uh, go ahead and make sure to check out my other videos. All right. Now that's of course, if you agree with me that these are some downsides, but I'm, I'm going to point this out too, before the video is over. There are downsides to owning firearms. However, the upsides outweigh the downsides a hundredfold, a thousandfold. In so many ways, the, the upsides outweigh the downsides. So don't think I'm disencouraging gun ownership. I am in no way disencouraging gun ownership. I am simply stating the facts. There are some downsides to owning a firearm, just like there are some downsides to owning anything. You know what I mean? You can own a car. Guess what? That car can break down. You know, in a house, guess what? There can be problems with the house. You know what I mean? There are downsides to everything. So I'm just being real enough to tell you all some of the downsides, some of the bigger ones, some of the smaller ones. You know what I mean? Uh, y'all agree with me that, you know, these tools, they are, they're dope. They're amazing. You know what I mean? The, these are some of the, you know, guns are some of the greatest inventions on the planet, in the history of the planet. If you agree with me, However, there are downsides, and we just need to be aware of that and enjoy the upsides. Make sure to check out all my other videos, y'all. You know what I mean? I'm happy to be posting again. Other than that, of course, something I haven't done yet, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share, hit that bell. When you hit that bell, hit all. And as I said before, check out my other videos. Y'all make sure to stay legal, stay safe, stay dangerous. Have a good one, y'all. Peace.